So just like that, there are now seven live action Transformers movies. But is this one any good? I have some thoughts. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm giving you my review of Transformers Rise of the Beasts, the seventh installment in the Transformers franchise. And before I give you my thoughts on this movie, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below your predictions or expectations for the movie if you've not yet seen it. If you have seen the movie, let me know your thoughts on it down below. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. It would mean a lot. Without further ado, let's dive right in. And I'll just be honest, uh, energy might be lower in this video because I am not too keen on this one, not real positive on Rise of the Beast, but I will start with some of my positives. There were a few things I did enjoy with this film. Notably, I thought the humor landed with the character Mirage. Now, Pete Davidson, funny guy, and he voices this character in the movie, and his character definitely got the loudest laughs from the audience and was the standout for me. He added a little bit of that comedic flair to the film, and he was one of the more memorable characters for sure. And then the actual design of a lot of these Transformers was really neat, especially Optimus Prime felt a little more classic. The voice acting there is always phenomenal. The deep voice. I believe Peter Cullen uh, is the voice actor for Optimus Prime. I remember seeing the early Transformers films in theaters and uh, it's cool. It felt nostalgic in a weird way. I'll also highlight the soundtrack. It fit the 90s vibe of the film with this hip hop. There were some bops on there for sure and it fit the vibe of the movie. But other than that, this is one of the most generic movies I've seen in quite some time. What I mean by that is it doesn't feel like it was written by a human. It felt like the studio went to ChatGPT or some AI site and said Transformers 7 and they put in some major plot points and that AI spit out a script and they were like, hey, we're just gonna hire some humans to come do touch-ups on this and then put it out as a movie. I have no idea how it was greenlit. It is a movie you've seen before. I said this in my out of theater reaction, but if you haven't even gone and seen this movie yet at the time of this review or when the movie comes out, you've still probably seen the movie. Within the first 10 minutes, you know everything that's gonna happen. From the start, the villain is super one note. I wanna take over the universe and this planet that eats, eats other planets. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And then, you know, we cut over to the human storyline and <laughs> I love Anthony Ramos, especially in Hamilton and in the Heights. He is a great musical singer, and I think he's a great performer. But in this movie in particular, didn't connect the character at all. Um, the same can be said for the other lead. I don't remember the characters' names really because it's one of those forgettable movies. Like as I was watching it, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna remember this in a week. But I digress. When it comes to the actual characters, I don't know why they're in the movie. This is a movie that didn't need humans. It's the Godzilla vs Kong effect. There's no need to have human characters in these movies. I mean, they're just stale, and like all the performances. Just just feel like they're reading off of like a teleprompter. Like they're looking right off the camera. They've got like cue cards. There's no heart in these performances, no emotion. It just felt stale across the board. And again, Anthony Ramos is a phenomenal actor outside of this movie. Everyone was just here for the paycheck or something because I just felt nothing. They try and set up like this brotherhood relationship and there's moments where the film thinks that it's like, oh, I'm pulling on your heartstrings now. This is a real crucial, pivotal, emotional moment. And it's like, I just feel nothing. And I know a lot of people come to Transformers for the action. I'll be real, the action's underwhelming in this film. You get a pretty decent opening fight scene and then there's one in the middle act for the most part, you can actually tell what's going on. Some Transformers films of the past are edited so poorly and spastically that it's like nauseating to watch. This one, I felt you could actually comprehend what was going down, like who was landing a blow on another character. I won't say too much here, but to me, the final act of this movie is literally a ripoff of Avengers Endgame in the cheesiest way possible, and I was just laughing. I, I rolled my eyes a lot in this movie because it tried to copy other blockbusters and make jokes referring to it, and it was just like, this isn't working. There's that action set that piece that literally rips off something from Indiana Jones and the Game of the Crystal Skull and like try and make a joke about it and it's like no no one's laughing but there are so many moments that are cheesy as hell I mean it it follows one of the most predictable scripts I've ever seen if again you have seen this movie even if you haven't seen it within the first 10-15 minutes you'll know everything that's gonna go down and nothing has any emotional weight. I'm dancing around spoilers here, but you just know what's gonna inevitably end up happening in this movie after any big moment happens that's supposed to like upset you. I could see it from a mile away this entire time. Now with that being said, I'm not a big Transformers guy. I love the Michael Bay movies when I was growing up. I haven't gone back to them in years. And the first Mark Wahlberg movie was atrocious. So that kind of turned me away from this franchise entirely. But I do have fond memories of those first three movies. And I know in retrospect, they're probably pretty bad, but I think all three of those movies are better than this Transformers film. They at least had decently interesting human characters. I know those movies were overly complex, but they were more entertaining than this. Like I said up front, this is a generic AI written movie. <laughs> I have no clue how it was greenlit. It'll make a decent amount of money at the box office. And again, hardcore Transformers fans will eat this up. It's 
not memorable in the slightest. I was forgetting the movie as I was watching it. The human characters in this movie are like painfully uninteresting and it's honestly cringe how they like try and have this huge emotional crux moment in the third act. I was like, I just don't give a damn right now. So the poor writing shines through, the action's underwhelming for a Transformers movie, and all around this was just a nothing movie. I feel like I kind of just wasted my time. Some of the action is neat and the humor, notably with the character Mirage, is a standout. Plus I like the 90s vibe. They definitely got that down to a T. But other than that, I will never watch this movie again. It's pretty throwaway in my mind. And I'm not even trying to make this up. At the end of the movie, I laughed my ass off at the final shot of this movie. Baffled. Baffled that they went that route. And <laughs> if you guys have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But it was like, <laughs> what on earth is happening here? So yeah, Transformers Rise of the Beast wasn't for me. I rolled my eyes so much watching this movie. This lacked any real charisma or charm, even heart. It just was so bland and generic. And again, this is just my opinion on Transformers Rise of the Beast. Do with that what you will. But that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below again your predictions for this film, your thoughts if you've seen it. I'm seeing The Flash tonight, so stay tuned for my out of theater action coming later. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.